What is up guys? So in this video, I'm going to show you the finer details regarding the monster ray or the ancient monster ray and the monster capture pool on the left hand side over here after the most fairly recent update. And if you click on the details, you can see there the max distance you can throw your bait and the max capacity of rays, which is only two. Definitely with this, it is strength in numbers. As you can see there, for a moderate amount of resources, you can grab yourself a normal ray or an ancient one for 30. Now I'm sure by this time you've acquired a fair amount of bait just through monster hunting. And just to give you a couple of examples here, you can get them from any monster that you hunt. It doesn't matter the level of them at all. Well, that I'm aware of actually. But there's a mutated whale and a spectral swordfish, both of them having some monster bait for you right there. Okay, right, when you've amassed the amount that you would like, then you can head in and actually get your ray. That is for 20 and the ancient is for 30. And that'll take six hours and no speed up option. But if you do, one quick little tip here. If you want to use your pirates to speed things up, be sure to drop your pirate on the left hand side of this pool <laughs> over here. Because if you drop it on this side, he will walk onto the beach and it'll just count as a ocean drop. So just a little tip there for that. As you can see here, he's going to help things along. All right, so six hours later, bang, we have our ancient. And this is all new to me when I was recording this. So I'm figuring things out as I go along. Okay, so I want to take you through a couple of scenarios now with regards to them. As you can see over here, there is the throw bait option. And I'll get into more detail in that in a second. But I'm going to head up over here. And here is someone who is unbubbled, but he is in his territory. As you can see there, he is within distance. And as I was doing this, like I said, the first time around, I didn't quite realize that you couldn't attack someone who was actually in the territory. And there's the error message right there. So we learn. Okay, so heading on to a different scenario here, we're going to find someone who is in the distance. And throwing bait over here. Another little error message type thing saying that the arrows are red. He is out of distance. So he needs to be within distance and not inside his territory. Okay, so here we have another little scenario with Shepard, the infamous Shepard, who has now yeah, he's kind of cooled off on camping outside our base. But as you can see, he is not in his territory, but he is bubbled. And we can throw rays at him as much as we like. Now I'm going to show you the damage in a second. But in this scenario, it is a good way to keep guys who are pesky campers outside your base where for a moderate amount of resources, you can attack him continuously with as many guys as you can. And uh, the damage does build up, but nothing too severe, you know, just more of an irritant. And like I said, it's not too much resources, as you can see there, one six for the normal ray and two seven roughly for the ancient one. All right, guys, that is going to bring us to the end of the video. I hope you found it informative and you're able to stock up on some monster bait and capture these ancient monsters. And I really hope that they do some more updates like this because there's plenty of space around the island. So I want to say thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.